Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to build a uh, PVC truck bed extender. Uh, I happen to have a 2009 Toyota Tacoma, but you know, depending on what you have, you can build it to spec. Um, paid between 50 and 60 bucks for the pieces, the equipment, the supplies, uh, which is a heck of a lot cheaper than 250 or 300 bucks. So let's check it out. <clears throat> I will. Uh, share a picture of everything that I have down here, all the uh, special ingredients. Um, number one, you're going to need three 10 foot pieces of inch and a quarter PVC. You're going to need 16 T's. T. You're going to need four X's here and 10 elbows like so. 10 elbows. Okay. Uh, you'll need two stainless steel bolts, nuts, and washers, and a little bit of paint if you'd like. And you're going to need some primer for your PVC and some PVC cement as well. You're also going to need two inch screws. I use drywall screws, that's what I had on hand, so what I used. Uh, lastly, you're going to need some car carabiners for those. Two, three, four, and some straps or nylon rope or something that you have laying around the house if you got it. Okay. Uh, let's talk about how we did this. Number one thing to understand, uh, I got three suggestions here. Number one is build from the outside in. Okay. See how this works first of all. It just slides over the top, it pivots right over the back here, just like that. And if I want, if we got camping, fishing gear, etc., uh, I can just unclip the clips, so to speak, on each side. There's one. And I have to do this left handed which is weird, but is what it is. All right, there's two. And so once we have these in, we can take the carabiner and just slide it right in to the tailgate locking mechanism and it stays clipped right there, okay? We can do that on this side as well. It stays clipped right here, click, done and done not going anywhere okay if we wanted if we were hauling two by fours I could just take a net and hook the net up in here slap it around tie to it so it would uh, alleviate that problem right there uh, once you're done just pull the hatch pops these things right off simple enough and then when you're looking to Take this out of the way, just pop it right back underneath, clip it back on, and pivot it right over the top again. It's right inside your uh, right inside your, your truck bed. Um, <clears throat> so one thing that I neglected to mention earlier that is imperative if you're gonna do a job like this, it's a PVC cutter. Harbor Freight, Menards, anybody has one like this. This happens to be a ratcheting one. Pretty simple stuff, man. So, like I mentioned earlier, suggestion is to work from the outside in. Here's what I mean. The very first piece I put together, and when you put together this, you are going to have to put it together twice. Okay? You'll put it together the first time to check all the measurements and everything else, everything, and, and make sure that it works for you pro properly. And then you'll have to pull all the PVC apart, and then go in with primer and cement and and re, uh, re reinstall it together, right? So I suggest that this piece right here be the very first piece that you build, elbow T elbow. And the reason why is this. Once you have these two middle pieces exactly the size that you want them based on how high you want it, 
right? Then you have 29, the, the length of 29 pieces of your entire uh, truck bed extender. Here's what I mean. These two, same length, same length, same length, same length, same length. They're all the same exact length, okay? 29 different pieces. Once you have this height, because these are all parallel, right? You have the height all the way around. You're in good shape, okay? Once you have this piece done, and you know how long these pieces are gonna be, go ahead and cut 29 pieces the exact same way. Use one piece for your model. Don't, don't cut one and then grab a different one and then start using that one and then cut another one and then grab a different one as your model. Use the same piece for your model all the way around so it's exactly the same length, okay? <clears throat> 29 of them is what you're gonna need. Once you have this piece done, then you're gonna find, <clears throat> then you're gonna find out right here, get these two pieces done, get these three pieces done, 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 right here, and this piece done. You can do all this. Once you have these done and these done, remember they're all the same size, guys, right? Then you can find your distance for this one, which are the same, these three, yes? Once you get those three, you set it up on your, on your tailgate itself. Once you get those three done, get this done, you have this whole wing done. You have two wings done, right? Because you have this side done, and this side is exactly the same as the other side, all right? <clears throat> you continue on building from the outside in all the way up back over here. These are all the same length, yes? Okay? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one are going to be a little discrepant. You have to figure out what length these are going to be based on what you already have and based on your truck bed, okay? All right. Last thing we messed up on when we, when we disassembled it, I took a lot of these pieces out to the backyard and painted them, obviously. One thing I didn't do right, I didn't leave the ends unpainted. If you choose to paint yours like mine, right, leave the ends of your PVC unpainted so that the primer and the cement will go on easier. We had to go in and sand the ends here off, and luckily they fit still, but and they look good, but tape them off before you paint them. Okay, guys, that's an idea, uh, suggestion. Lastly, uh, second to last, I guess, get stainless steel nuts and bolts, all right? Stainless steel. As you set yours up, you're gonna have to figure out if you need a, uh, if you need to drill, copacetic, then do it, right? On both sides. Lastly, we reinforced our PVC truck bed extender with these two inch drywall nails. If you go in and do this, make sure that you pre-drill. You don't want the, the plastic splitting, especially if uh, you do this after everything's been installed, right? <clears throat> so make sure you pre-drill and then hit them with the reinforcements here, the two inch drywall screws. If you do it right, they do not go through, get a close up on this, close up. Those two inch screws don't go through all the way, as you see. Take a look, I'm gonna flip this, you keep the camera on. They all have screws in them, okay? Um, if you like our video, please go ahead and uh, hit the like button. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, that would be cool down low. Folks, I'm not a mechanical engineer, I'm just a guy, so please, uh, if you have major criticism, then make your own video, yes? See y'all later. Take care.